So today it was great to be able to witness uh, a patient uh, hooked up to the brain fit glasses and simultaneously measuring their brainwave activity. It was rather remarkable. Patrick Porter told us that, you know, at minute seven, you would start to see a rapid increase in theta activity. So it was great to see the, the, the patient with the glasses on. And just as Patrick Porter said, at minute seven, all of a sudden there's a great rise in theta activity. Theta just settled right down. And this is phenomenally in a room where there's lots of talking all around and she can even hear us talking, which should be stimulating her brain to produce more and more beta activity. But no, uh, because of the lights, because of the sound, the brain synchronizes or entrains and just goes where they're taken. It's an exercise for the brain. When the brain can change brain state and do it gently and easily and come back to norm, it's it's like going to the gym for your brain. The glasses don't just have audio-visual entrainment, which in itself is a wonderful tool. It has mixed with it the, the, the communication. It has the, it has the creative visualization. Uh, it has the ability for the patient to understand themselves differently. Like I said, the seeds of suggestion placed in a receptive theta state so that they can become, say, a smoke-free person, so that they can become um, they can see themselves as a thin, um, you know, not overweight person. So they can have a different self-image because we carry that image in our subconscious. And it's so hard to change. People can go on a diet, people can throw away their cigarettes, people can do a lot of things that are healthy for them. And we always say it's all about retraining the brain. But how do you retrain the subconscious? Okay, so a wonderful tool. I'm really excited about you.